And what is going on guys and welcome back to some more NBA 2K15 baby episode 19 that's what I'm talking about for some reason it didn't take me back to uh, back to the gym locker room it just took me straight into the next game well the Hornets game we just did this and I think they've got to play better than they did the first Oh, he said the first time these two teams met. So we got to play these guys again. So I thought, um, I thought it was the same game that we literally just played, but we're playing these guys again. That's weird. Get the ball. Look at that. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. On the court for the Hornets. I knew I was going to make that one. The corner shots are the best shots to take, guys. So if you are struggling to make threes, always go into the corners. Those those things seem to always knock down in your favor, especially the left corner. And it's Kid Gilchrist penetrating. And off target as he starts the game over one. All right, so zero to five, deja vu. Michael Kidd Gilchrist, second overall pick back in 2012, and Park, as you know, an NCAA champion. You saw it firsthand with Kentucky. Yeah, you know, I like his disposition and I love his motor. I mean, his defense, his size. Nice. He's an excellent rebounder for his position. And size. We might end up destroying these guys. I want to do that. I want to actually destroy these guys. You know, you look for that last game because last game was complete bull. Al Jefferson is really a unique score inside. He doesn't shoot a lot of free throws. He doesn't tally that many assists. What he does do is make shots inside while taking great care of the basketball. All right. Jefferson with the excellent pump. Unusual Steve in that it really looks nothing like his shot. He just lifts the ball and defenders always seem to bite on it. Yeah, you know, it's that deception. And, and sometimes it, it looks you know almost comical and yet defenders go for it so it's wow an effective move nice and i think it's also his mentality he's that's what i'm talking about man this is how all our games should be just straight blowing these guys out you received an invitation that was a bad shot what was that for the Pistons, their last game a loss to the Rockets in Houston. I thought overall, Kevin, it was mostly the defensive effort that hurt them. Just no energy, no purpose. Steve, I thought they were late on no. the rotation. They didn't really communicate well. And as that would have been another easy for. basket. Zeller passes to Stevenson. And one. That's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. Miss it, miss it, miss it. No. Nope. And Stevenson, the all-time leading scorer in the history of high school basketball in New York State. That's something when you consider part the great players who came before him. Yeah, to be at the top of that list says a lot about his high school career. He actually led Lincoln High School to an unprecedented four straight city basketball nice. championships. There's a reason. But let's see if he can make our fouls. Look at him. <laughs> And for Stevenson, despite the high school accolades, uh, you know, nice. About eligibility, off the court issues. And let's see if he can make the last one. And after one season at Cincinnati, he slid to the second nope. round of the draft, but he's really we just can't make the second one. We can make the first one, but we just can't make the second one. That's splitting the free throws up, and that's starting. That's uh, a weakness that we need to improve on. Paul George is in that starring role there for the Pacers for the foreseeable future, and I think Lance perhaps wanted to move on to Charlotte to see how he could handle being the main guy on the team. Just three to shoot. The 11 footer shot tonight. Hell yeah. Monroe with a screen on Walker. And it's nice. And he gets this is what I'm talking about, man. This is awesome. Wow, just a tremendous first quarter shooting the basketball for them, guys. Yeah, when they put it up, it's gone in. And that's my fault. That's all my fault. It's all my fault. It's tough for the defense today. If he's got his A game rolling here tonight, we'll see. Detroit leading by five. Jennings dishes to Smith. Drummond in the post. Defended by Jefferson. Goes up the baseline. A rebound by Jefferson. 
And you know why he was open there. They didn't commit too much defense to him, and you can see why. Uh oh, looks like they're coming back now. Come on, don't let this be a comeback. That was bad. I don't know why he did that. That was bad. And now we're only up by one, and we were up by so much, man. This sucks. Momentum shift. Yes, yeah, one thing to create a turnover, but to so alertly turn it into a transition opportunity. That's even better. Here's Mr. Perfect, averaging eight points a game. Jennings passes to Cross. Six to shoot. I want to take it Picks with a Gatorade sign. Shoots it up. Nope. And it's nothing the we could do. Missing. Looked like he rushed that one, guys. The defense was out of position. He was wide open, just couldn't take advantage. And the rejection by Smith. Well, you allow them to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, I think you got to foul them, and free throws are better than the left. Dialed in from long range. I like it. Cool. And as a club. Cool, cool, cool. So we're down now. I knew we were going to be down when we sat, when we were going to sat out, sit out, sit out. Whatever it is you want, however you want to pronounce it, call it. I don't know. Well, it's impossible not to see that domination. Wow. Based on the numbers, it was really lopsided in the rebounding battle. Cross in its shooting guard. Craig Monroe is out there with Smith. Then it's Kyle Single, and it's Jennings in at the point. That's the group for Detroit right now. Here's Mr. Perfect. He's guarded That's what I'm talking about. We need to make some plays. Cut down now to just two points with that basket from Cross. It was a recent report that uh, he and a teammate were seen at the gym putting in extra shots, trying to get things right, Clark and their shooter. Well, that kind of work ethic is what professionals are supposed to have and model. After the game he had, I'm sure he would have wanted a chance to put up some extra shots as well. I mean, he struggled in Wow, that was a nice last-minute shot. Yeah, that extra time. He played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the league. It's not very often you can say this about the future is looking pretty bright in Charlotte. So often the season ends and you're thinking about the issues you've got to deal with, but right now the Hornets headed in a good direction. Shot clock at six. Singler dishes to Monroe. That was nice. That's what I'm talking about, man. We're starting to come back now. Now the shots are starting to fall a little bit more than they did in the first quarter. Yeah, they say it's not how you drive, it's how you arrive in golf. Well, a shaky start can be overcome because now they're starting to heat up. And Walker yep, kicks starting to, to heat up. Walker the best to Jefferson. He can nice stay on defense. Charlotte. The feet now to Stevenson. On deep. That's what I'm talking about. Forced him to take that shot. Smith's got three rebounds now in this one. Rebounds are split just about down the cool. middle of this game. Part. Now, if he can make his free throws, we can be right back in the game. That energy level on the glass. We'll have the upper hand the rest of the way. And Doris Burke has some And yes, that's what I'm talking about. So now it's tied up. We just came back, man. That's awesome. That's what I like to see. And a restricted one. However, a recent study found that comparable players ended up making more money in restricted free agencies. Teams know they have to overpay to avoid a player's team. Oh, I was hoping he was going to block that. I knew he was going to pass it to him. I was just waiting for the perfect moment. Couldn't quite get there, but it's all good. Let's try to get our revenge. Nope, couldn't quite make that shot. That was a layup. You've got to knock that down. You've got to convert when you get those opportunities. And there, and uh oh, it's starting to um. It's a four-point Hornets lead. Starting to get Great a bigger job. lead. We don't want that. Jennings passes. Shot let go too early. I let go way too early. That was my fault. I let go way too early, man. That was ridiculous. We probably could have made that because the bar actually was uh hittable. You know, Josh Smith is a very talented player. That is cool. He made his free throws. That's all that matters. He's not really a power forward in a traditional sense, but not a three-man either. He's an athlete who can do a lot of different things, but so much depends on the players he has around him. It needs to be the right fit. And Walker kicks to Kid Gilchrist. Here's Jefferson. Yes, I'm glad he missed that. 
Monroe's got his sixth rebound on the night. The Pistons have gone six. Get ready to be the end quarter, of the right first the half. Mark from the field. Here's Mr. Perfect. He's covered by Kid Gilchrist. Here's Cross. The shot will Damn not it, go. man. Come some on. They can give us some of these Gilchrist. shots. Stevenson I don't know why they make it so hard for you in the beginning of your uh, season. And Stevenson kicks to 50K Jefferson. Okay for freaking maxing out one of your beasts, one of your uh, after a nice bounce off the right side. one of your Jefferson's slots, man. The four now for Charlotte. And here's Jennings. I'm trying though. Three seconds left, and he drops that one in. My, he is so adept at finishing. In the but we're only down by two, so that's cool. Let's go ahead and skip these scenes and get right back into the game. All right, listen up, everybody. The second half doesn't have to be as close as the first. If everybody, the start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. What a performance from Lance Stevenson here. 13 points and also an assist. Tipping off the second half, here's Steve Clifford's five. At the three, MKG and Cody Zeller at the four. Walker runs the point with Stevenson flanking him. And it's Jefferson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Down to five on the shot clock. Kid Gilchrist, the pass to Walker. Wow. Knocks down the three ball. Walker's got the first basket of the second half. That one for the Hornets. Jennings kicks to Smith. Feeds it to what the was roll. that? Kid Gilchrist with the steal. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Walker leading the charge. And slam dunk by Kid Gilchrist. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they wanted. The aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling That's the what I'm talking about. We keep making shots like that, we can come back and win. Side to Walker. Jefferson setting the pick for Walker. Back to Stevenson. Rebound by the Pistons. Last time they came together was in Charlotte. Where they fell to the Hornets. Yeah, they didn't play well that night. They weren't very aggressive. Uh, they shot the ball too often from the perimeter. Never got it inside. And they were also yes, that's shaking. what I'm talking about. We're starting to heat up now. We're only down by two. Cut down to two on the bucket from Cross. Well, as you know, Clark, he's been in a lengthy slump, but I saw him taking the extra time with some extra shots before this game. From what I've heard, it was at the suggestion of his teammate. He's been slumping and struggling, and we're both hoping that some extra shots. I like it. I like it. All day long. Cool. Coach isn't Clark saying is nothing talking. but good things, really. It's go time. He hasn't said anything bad since uh, the last two games, so left in the third quarter of the game. he's really liking what we're doing. I just want to make some more shots. Outside Jack. He dishes it to Jefferson. Jack passes to Jefferson. The floater and the shot is good. Jefferson's got five points now this quarter. So for the Pistons, Monroe comes in for Kyle Singler. And it's Mr. Perfect in for Jody Meeks. Pistons trail by four. I'd like to see them go two for one here. I would too. They need to make this a quick possession and a fruitful one too. Uh, I was going to take Mr. it, but Perfect. I don't know. He's got 11. Shot clock at six. And Augustine kicks to Drummond. What was that, Drummond? What was that? Henderson against Augustine. Jefferson dishes to That's the end of the third to quarter. Jefferson. Drummond working against Jack. Jefferson passing to Neal. Wow, I should have just stayed on my man. He made that last second three. We didn't need that, but it's probably going to be the end of the game anyway. Just four seconds left to play in the third. Here's Augustine. That misses would have counted had it gone in. But there you guys have it. One more quarter to try to come back and win. Hopefully we can, but I doubt we will, man. Be honest. No question, this was going to be the winner. Just take a look at the expertise he shows on this pass. Perfectly timed and beautifully placed. Monroe and Drummond, they're inside. Mr. Perfect out there with Jennings. 
and it's Smith in at the three slot. That's the five and the four for the Pistons. Jennings passes to Cross. Ah, uh, we yeah, I wasn't gonna go in. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Hornets leading by seven. Jack with it, and Jennings picks him up defensively. And Jack kicks to Stevenson. Jefferson setting the pick for Stevenson. Can't connect from 14 feet out. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump. Assists, nice. Especially when he's open. I'd say that shot was well within his range. <laughs> you think so? I mean, I was pretty good from two feet and in myself. That's a gimme there. That was bad. That Nothing I could do there. Jack as that one goes in. Jack's got four assists in the game. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Jennings kicks to Smith. Pass to Drummond. Shot clock at six. The pass to Cross. Nice. That was and perfect. On that time. Beautiful shot. And his confidence has come back since halftime after really a rough first two quarters. Charlotte in the lead. Zeller is checked in for Charlotte. Walker comes in for Jared Cat. Let's go quickly over to Doris Birch for an update. I was able to listen in on what Steve Clifford was going over with his team. He told the players, let's put our foot on them and keep them down. We've got them exactly where we want them. I want to see you guys slow the pace, use the clock, and stay away from any silly fouls. And thank you, Doris. Stevenson outside. Rejected by Cross and they'll keep position. That sucks, man. How we get blocks and we really do good on defense, but these guys need still seem to get the ball right back. Pistons trailed by seven. Jennings dishes to Smith. Pass to Cross. Back to Smith. Nice ball movement by Detroit. That was bull. That was bull. We made that. That that was that was that wasn't a miss. We legitimately made that shot. Shots good by Walker. But he can do the same thing and he can make it. That's the thing that I don't like about NBA. Come on. Are you serious? Are you serious? He's really been off the mark. He just looks a little bit unsettled. Stevenson outside. He kicks to Jefferson. Stevenson drives in. And it's Stevenson again missing. Really good work defensively. This coach has to be happy with his team. Yeah, forcing that miss right there. Great effort. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. With a much bigger man guarding him, that's not an easy We came back, on. but Never we need to still to do good, down. man. Terrific basket. Take a stop screwing me out six. of some points. It's bad enough we missed the first one, but then they said we missed the second one. Here in the fourth quarter, and Walker kicks to Jefferson. From 15 feet away, the shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got his sixth assist on the night. Look at the size discrepancy there between the defender and the shooter. Well, those are warm-up jumpers when there's not Oh, why didn't you just go up for the shot? Never mind. Wow. Charlotte's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. Outside, Walker. Pass to Stevenson. Lock at six. Jefferson passing to Stevenson. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. He's been anything but his usual self this No, that was going to be an easy layup. To the middle. And he takes it in for the layup. Now we're down by 10, and we have two minutes to come back. lead by 10. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Charlotte. Boy, they're hounding, harassing efforts at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And they're also really getting out in transition and scoring some hoops in the fast break tonight. Jennings passes to Cross. That should have went in. Oh my god, man. Struggling mightily in this This game tries to get you so frustrated. Tightened up a bit for whatever reason. He looks tight. With the madness, man. That was a nice release. They could have let us slide with the three, man. 
Missed three straight. Back to Walker. There's the triple. Yeah, that's game for us. 13 and 5 run for almost a whole quarter. A minute 20 left to play here in the fourth. Here's Cross. Oh my lord. Distance rebound. Drummond is just a sniff. Here's Mr. Perfect. He's guarded by Stevenson. There we go. He's starting to heat up from outside. That's his second this half. Clark, if they want to, they can milk the clock just a little bit here. Hey, Amen. I think that's the best option. So it looks like just playing the last bit of this game out in what should be a nice win here for the Hornets. And Clark, they really lit it up in this one. Fantastic offensive performance. Most definitely. They shot the ball extremely well. It's a game to be proud of. And with this win, they'll end up No, I was gonna I was gonna have him pass me the ball and just jack up. That's really what I was gonna do. We can safely say it's been a very one-sided season series. So far, they've won both of the first two meetings. With two more to go before the end of the season, and they'll obviously be very confident heading into those two games. Fantastic show put on. What an amazing game all around it was for Kemba Walker. That sucks. We lost our, We lost like twice to these guys, man. In. We should have won. Nobody was surprised. Detroit's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. And he gets it to go. Here's Walker. Tipped away. Now Detroit moving it up. The finish. Why not, right? Why not just go out in style? Instant that steal was made. They were off and running the other way. Ball pressure, then a run. But there you guys have it. Lost twice to these guys. We did better this game than first game, though. But that sucks. We had a B plus. That sucks. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. Uh, NBA 2K15, and I'll see you guys in the next one real soon. Peace out.